Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ariel and today I'm gonna give you some ideas on how to decorate your home for free or on a low budget. First, I will start with the five free ways to decorate your home and then I will go into the five affordable ways right after these five seconds. So the first free way to decorate your home. Have you ever paid for a rock before? Well, if you're married, you may have paid for this one. Well, maybe not this one, but A1. These free God-given balls of minerals are not only for the 10th day that you're stuck in quarantine with your spouse, okay? These can make beautiful home decorations. All you need is a bowl of lukewarm water, some rocks, and a few bottles of nail polish. You pour the different colors of nail polish into the bowl and then you can use a toothpick to swirl the colors around if you'd like. Dip your rock into the colors and then let it dry for three hours before you dip the other side. And then when it's dry, you can add a clear coat of nail polish over it and voila! You have a gorgeous new home decoration. And then you also have a close by, you know, for emergency situations. <music> On to the second free way to decorate your home. Do you have clothespins? Then don't go anywhere. A little backstory. So about a year ago, I wanted to paint my cabinet white because that's what millennials do. We paint everything white. But after painting it, I noticed my sink is beige. Beige and white, ah! Now I'm no interior designer, but that doesn't sound like a good match to me. So I had to quickly find a way to make beige and white look good together. And this is what I came up with. I put together this beautiful clothespin heart and it's really easy to make. All you need is a clothes hanger and some clothespins. That's it. Oh, and it has to be a metal clothes hanger specifically. You have to manipulate the hanger into the shape of a heart, which I admit took me a little bit to get there. It's kind of difficult, but once you got it, you got it. And then you just add on the clothespins one by one until it makes this simple but gorgeous heart. The third way to decorate your home for free is to use everyday items as decor. It's free decor if it's an item you have to buy anyway, right? I use this apron to add a little bit of color into my kitchen and it matches my curtains too, but when I'm ready to cook, off the wall it goes. Other examples are this mirror that I use regularly that adds to my beige and white theme going on in here and even a box of tissues. Hey, when you got no money, you can't be a dummy. Because as much as I want a large oval mirror and a plant taller than my refrigerator, I also want to pay my mortgage and get out of debt. If you've gotten any value out of this video yet, give me a thumbs up. Moving on to the fourth way to decorate your small home for free. Go find an old frame that you don't use anymore. Print out an inspirational quote that makes you feel like you're Oprah Winfrey sipping on a latte and hang it up. I actually took out the white picture mat and painted it navy blue to give it a little bit of color and to match my living room theme. And I love the way it turned out. It doesn't even look like it's painted. Perhaps I should sell my services. I mean, that's high quality craftsmanship. And the fifth free way to decorate your small home is to attempt to be an artist. This can be fun. I made it into a girls' night with my very cool friends. Now I'm saving all my loving for someone who's loving me. Go on now, go. I'm sure they were once very cool. Better bounce back and get the cheddar cheese. So I attempted to paint a minimalist, abstract style of art, which I think looks okay. I mean, this is good for me. I am a horrible artist. I used to think I was a good artist until I joined an art class in high school and I realized every single person in that class was better than me. So this is the best I can do. But if you don't want to paint, you can go onto Pinterest and you can find free printables of art. So you don't even have to paint, you can just print them right out. Why didn't I do that? So we covered the five free ways to decorate your home. Now we're going to move on to the five affordable ways. And did you subscribe yet? I'm gonna need you to do so because I've got some fantastic videos coming in the future that you don't wanna miss. Okay, so the first way to decorate your home on a low budget, tapestries. It's not just for hippies. I'm definitely not a hippie, but I love my tapestry. I put it above my piano, which makes me feel like I'm playing piano in the dark, at night, in the forest. This sounds like a horror film. But this only cost me $10, and it made this ordinary wall look very scenic. I considered making a homemade frame to make it look a little more classy, but I'm not just cheap, I'm lazy too. 
The second way to decorate your house on a low budget is to create this beautiful, easy to make wooden sign and put it by the rock. You can buy whatever size wood you'd like for, and if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's, they'll actually cut the wood for you if you don't have a woodcutter at home, or if you do have a woodcutter at home, but you'd like to keep all your fingers. Then you'll want to buy some stain for your wood. I really like that dark, nice espresso look. Mmm, coffee. Next, you can paint on the letters of whatever you want your sign to say. I used a stencil because my writing looks like a six-year-old on NyQuil. Then, if you'd like, you can get yourself some Velcro dots and buy some of those wooden cutout crafts. You can paint them and then add them right to your sign, depending on the holiday. Yes, it's Christmas in July. It's Christmas year round because that's all I got to painting. The third way to decorate your home on a budget, if you wanna add a little excitement to your kitchen but you don't have $400 to spend on a tile backsplash, well try a peel and stick backsplash. We spent a total of about $75 to cover this area. Excuse the horrible color of the cabinets. We plan to stain them to make them not look like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but it's as easy as it sounds. You just peel them and stick them. And people think it's real tile. Just don't invite your interior designer friends over. The fourth way to decorate your home on a tight budget is to never miss a yard sale. You see a sign for a yard sale? Rebecca. I can't make it. And then you find a way to get to that yard sale. Because there's no better deal than the deals you can find at yard sales. For example, at a yard sale, somebody sold me this beautiful frame that originally cost $35 for only a dollar. And I took it home and then I ordered a 16 by 20 photo, very large photo, of my husband and I on our wedding day. And it is the conversation piece of our home. You just, you can't miss these sales. Rebecca, I'm sorry. There's a plane passing above me, so I have to wait to speak. So it's winter and snowy, and you can't find a yard sale. Well, I have two words for you that bring me to the fifth way to decorate your home on a small budget, Facebook Marketplace. You may have heard of it, it's all the rave, but are you using it? In my experience, on average, everything that I've bought on Facebook, for the most part, has cost me no more than 25% of the original price if bought new. I bought this relaxed sign for $5, these two beautiful couches all together for $400, and I've sold a lot of stuff in the marketplace too and used that money to buy more home decor. So get on the marketplace because you never know what Rebecca may be selling. It might be good. That completes my list of cheap or free home decor ideas. I hope at least one of them helped you out today so that you can get your home looking like Johanna Gaines. But if you're trying to decorate for as cheap as I am, then your home might look more like Mickey Mouse's clubhouse. Thank you for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe and ho -ho, I'll see you real soon. Oh gosh, I'm much better at Goofy. Or maybe I'm good at none of them. There's a plane passing above me, so I have to wait to speak. I can't do my video until the plane passes. I can't film my video until the plane passes.